The electrics are simple, and therefore there are not so many problems with it. It happens that after five or six years the central lock starts to fail or the tired mechanism of the electric window regulator slows down, first, as a rule, in the driver's running door. If, after 120 to 130,000 kilometers, the headlights hit the floor or the sky, the culprit is hiding on the rear suspension arm, the hinges turn sour at the headlight corrector sensor or the traction brakes. And the not-too-powerful air conditioner fan motor is scrupulous about the cleanliness of the cabin filter. A disgruntled bearing usually starts to speak in cold weather. The starter may require a bulkhead after 120 to 140,000 kilometers, but the generator has found itself such a warm place above the engine that it can work more than 200,000 kilometers without dust and dirt. Engine. Well, how do the orthodox Subarovsky boxers feel themselves, the famous hedgehogs, long-lived engines of the EJ series on pre-styling Foresters older than 2011? The four-shaft hedgehogs with the ABCS active valve control system, inlet variable valve timing system have such an intricate timing drive with a long belt. With a 2-liter aspirated EJ20, and this is the most popular boxer, almost a third of the cars on the market are with it. Do not expect outstanding dynamics from the Forester, but it also promises the least trouble. Instances of the first three years of production included a check engine signal before 100,000 kilometers due to a too capricious converter. In 2010, there was even a service campaign to replace it. And the floating idle speed every 30 to 50,000 kilometers can ask for cleaning the throttle valve with electronic control. But the branded drumming of piston skirts, primarily in the hottest fourth cylinder inside an aluminum unit with dry cast iron liners usually appears only closer to a run of 200 to 250,000 kilometers. Atmospheric engines of the EJ series with a volume of 2.0 and 2.5 liters do not differ externally from each other. Supercharged 2.5 engines have different power, 230 and 263 horsepower, due to different ECU firmware. And if you change high-quality oil more often, then the opposite will be able to stretch about 300,000 kilometers to the bulkhead, which, as a rule, does without resuscitation of the block or its heads, meaning only the replacement of piston rings, $130 per set, and crankshaft liners, $200 per set. After that, the motor is able to serve another 100 to 150,000 kilometers, and subsequently survive a couple of major repairs with cylinder bores and one grinding of the crankshaft journals. At the present time, a model of maintainability. An oxygen sensor with normal fuel usually lasts about 150 to 180,000 kilometers. And the heat from the exhaust system after 120 to 140,000 kilometers can critically age the cover of the internal hinge of the right drive. It is important to better monitor the oil level in the engine, and you can check it only after a long stop. In a horizontal engine, oil flows slowly into the sump. After all, boxer with great enthusiasm absorbs not only fuel for 10,000 kilometers especially when driving at high speeds it can burn more than two and with a run of more than 150,000 kilometers and three liters of oil and what does not burn out can flow out through the technological plugs of the cylinder block valve cover gaskets candle wells and even through the cylinder head gaskets after 130 to 150,000 kilometers and to replace them you need to remove the engine but it's even more unpleasant if, after 120 to 140,000 kilometers, the crankshaft and camshaft oil seals leak. The timing drive configuration is such that oil never misses a chance to get on the belt, which is why it is not averse to jumping, and the valves say, hello, to the pistons, emptying your pocket for the equivalent of several thousand dollars. So it makes sense to play it safe, and update the seals along with the belt after 100,000 kilometers. All of the above is also true for the 2.5 engine of the EJ25 series, 13% of cars the design is based on the same block as that of the 2.0-liter counterpart. But in order to obtain a larger working volume, it was necessary to enlarge the diameter of the cylinders by 7.5 mm, naturally increasing the thermal stress. Therefore, an older motor, even with a working cooling system, is more prone to overheating which is fraught not only with stuck piston rings or burned out cylinder head gaskets, but also with deformation of the mating surfaces of the block and heads. The situation is aggravated by leaks from radiators, especially in cars older than 2010 cracks at the junction of a plastic tank and aluminum honeycomb sometimes appeared after a couple of years. In the future, the risk will be less if instead of the original radiator, 
$120 to $150, an all-metal one is installed, it will cost about the same money, but will last longer. Well, the most cheerful in every sense in the company of Subarovsky opponents, of course, is a boxer with a volume of 2.5 liters, supplemented by an IHIVF series turbocharger, which often outlasts the engine itself. Only a cracking oil supply pipe in cars of the first year of production can sentence a turbine earlier than 200 to 250,000 kilometers, about which a service campaign to replace it was announced almost immediately in 2008. And the 2.5 turbo engines themselves, 20% of cars, not even loaded by tuning, often need resuscitation after 100 to 150,000 kilometers. Moreover, to the usual, but earlier appearing sores of less powerful counterparts, cranking of the liners in the block and the destruction of the bridges between the grooves for the rings on the pistons are added, followed by scuffing on the cylinder walls. And what about the first turbo diesel in the history of Fuji Heavy Industries Corporation? Came out like that pancake, lumpy. Contacting a 2-liter FE20 opposite, which migrated to us from Europe in small quantities, is no less risky than with the 2.5 petrol turbo engine, especially on pre-styling specimens. After a run of 100 to 120,000 kilometers, it may not withstand the loads and burst, the crankshaft. And from the usual general diesel troubles, a particulate filter clogged after 120 to 140,000 kilometers, $3,000, and injectors that did not differ at first in durability, $350 each, a turbocharger, $2,000, and a dual mass flywheel, $1,000 branded and half the price of analogs. Diesel is slightly more compact, but heavier than gasoline engines. Timing chain drive, and the turbine and particulate filter are located below. But the atmospheric gasoline boxers of the FB family, which replaced the well-deserved hedgehogs on restyled Foresters, have not yet tarnished their reputation with anything more criminal than oil leaks. True, through the seals of the beds of the camshafts, it can begin to snot in just 30 to 50,000 kilometers, and in this case, the removal of the entire engine also shines, and then strive to lose weight in valve-covered gaskets. From the outside, the FB series boxers are easily distinguished from the EJ by the black plastic intake manifold instead of the metal one and the oil filter located on top. Inside there is a timing chain drive, the nozzles are located in the blockheads instead of the intake manifold, and the valve drive with rocker arms. FB series motors are also sensitive to oil quality but the chain that replaced the timing belt reminds of its existence no earlier than 200 to 250,000 kilometers. And most importantly, the 2.5-liter FB25 engine, 10% of cars on the market, with a smaller cylinder diameter and a large piston stroke got rid of the generic curse of the EJ25 ancestor, overheating and is no different in reliability from its 2-liter counterpart FB20, 27% of offers. Transmission. Without any shocks in the transmission, Although there is a fly in the ointment that the previous Forester did not have, a short-lived propeller shaft outboard bearing. Although it is protected by a screen, it is sometimes able to buzz only after 40 to 50,000 kilometers. Sadness is added by the fact that it is not supplied separately as spare parts. Under warranty, dealers changed the card and shaft assembly, $1,000. Fortunately, the craftsman got used to solving the problem with the help of suitable bearings that cost only $10 to $12. Even the bearing of the propeller shaft suspension support covered with a protective screen does not differ in durability, but the crosses can withstand 150 to 200,000 kilometers. Six-speed manual gearbox is TY756 with a diesel engine and a five-speed TY75 with all other engines up to 180 to 220,000 kilometers usually do not attract attention to themselves, and then the gear selector stem seal may begin to leak and the shaft bearings may make noise. The two-stage transfer case in two-liter cars is even more durable, and the downshift allows you to save the clutch, $120 to $150 set, off-road. But for diesel or supercharged Foresters with a manual transmission, the clutch, even on asphalt, does not always live up to 100,000 kilometers, while with any of the gasoline aspirated it can withstand one and a half times longer. Yes, and the gearboxes themselves, paired with turbo engines, experience increased loads, and sometimes they may not make it to the third clutch replacement. And do not forget that overheating with frequent slippage significantly reduces the life of the viscous coupling, $700 to $750, in the center differential of cars with mechanics. The center can be permanently blocked, 
the forester will become reluctant to change the trajectory and shudder in turns. And if you ignore the problem, the appearance of noise about his untimely death will soon not fail to announce the rear gearbox. You will have to pay another $800 to $1,000 for the bulkhead, and the new one will cost more than $1,500, which, with a regular oil change every 30 to 50,000 kilometers of demolition no. The signal on the front panel about overheating of the rear gearbox is often the result of a loss of contact or a break in the sensor wires. But if the rear wheels pick up with a jerk during a sharp start or active cornering on a car with an automatic, this indicates where of the multiplate clutch of the rear axle drive or hanging of the solenoid for turning it on. Prepare up to $2,000 for repairs and continue not to abuse acceleration with the pedal to the floor on a slippery road. A failed solenoid and a four-wheel drive blocked by it will cause an increased load on the front differential, over time it will buzz. Fortunately, this happens infrequently and with runs of more than 200,000 kilometers. Prior to the appearance on the third Forester, the four-stage automatic had an external oil filter installed here in this place, shown by the arrow. The main thing is not to skimp and often, every 30,000 kilometers, change the oil in the machine. Otherwise, the wear products will quickly clog the control hydraulics. And then the TZ14 stages, close relatives of the ancient and leisurely, but simple and reliable Jack 04E box from the 80s, have every chance of trouble free operation even after 250 to 300,000 kilometers. And after updating with the repair of the torque converter, flushing the valve body and replacing the pistons with friction clutches and the linear pressure solenoid, they continue to serve faithfully. And only on turbo foresters do they fall into decay twice as fast, as well as the more overheating 5-speed TG5 box, made on the Jacko JR507 design basis, which appeared in 2011 in the 263 horsepower version. Suspension. But to the chassis, the previous Forester was almost a model of reliability, there were more questions. Self-priming rear shock absorbers, $600 apiece. Also surrender after 70 to 80,000 kilometers and sometimes even after one missed large hole. Ordinary shock absorbers, $150 original and from $70 for eminent counterparts, even taking into account the need to buy additional rear springs with other characteristics, $50 each, cost three times cheaper. As well as the front ones, $200 branded and $100 replacements each, requiring replacement after 100 to 140,000 kilometers. Along with their second set, as a rule, new thrust bearings, $50 each, are also needed. Inexpensive racks, $15 to $17, and penny stabilizer bushings run the same 40 to 60,000 kilometers. And the front and rear wheel bearings, both assembled with hubs for $110 and $170, respectively, still withstand at least 100 to 150,000 kilometers, as well as ball bearings in the front suspension, $50 original and from 10 analogs. But the rear silent blocks of the changed front levers, or $25 branded and three times cheaper than analogs, do not always overcome the line of 100,000 kilometers, whereas before they lasted one and a half times longer. And the modified rear multi-link, although it does not require attention before the same 150,000 kilometers, but its subsequent revision is much more expensive, $600 to $650. Steering. A decent 130 to 150,000 kilometers can also withstand steering rods, $45 original and $15 analogs, with tips, $40 and $10, respectively. And the rack and pinion mechanism itself, $1,400, with a conventional hydraulic booster and pre-styling foresters, although it is capable of upsetting a leak after 100 to 140,000 kilometers. As a rule, the steering shaft oil seal is the first to surrender, usually does not need to be replaced, but to be sorted with a repair kit. Knocking in the rack with electric booster may not progress for a long time, and when replacing the steering shaft gear bushing with a modified part, it disappears for a long time. But the brake with an electric booster, $2,000, or 2-liter two Foresters began to upset with knocks already at runs of 30 to 50,000 kilometers. At first, dealers changed the assembly under warranty, but then a repair kit appeared for the Euro with a different steering shaft gear bearing bushing. After installing it, you can forget about the problem if not forever, then for a long time. Brake System Regardless of the year of manufacture, carefully inspect the condition of the brake pipes, $50 to $100 is there any corrosion, due to which in 2014 there was even a service campaign to replace them. And at least once a year, during scheduled maintenance, 
you need to remember about the caliper guides, $220 to $280 each without regular cleaning and lubrication, they tend to turn sour. Total. It turns out that the third Lesnik, in comparison with his predecessor, has passed certain positions. But still, Forrester and, for example, on the CRV are comparable in terms of reliability, and both will be stronger than most European or Korean crossovers. So after all, the high price of a Subaru matches Honda's. Even copies of the first years of production with the 2-liter engine will cost no less than 600 to 650,000 rubles. And for a restyled car with any of the FB aspirated, prepare all 800,000. And do not forget that it is best to service Subaru either at dealers or at club services, where the masters know firsthand about the specifics of these cars.